Mark, great to have you on. Let's start with Tesla. UBS reiterating an $1,100 price target. Some would say, hey, that's crazy. The stock is down 28% so far this year, but it's actually in line with other technology companies. What do you think? Yeah, well, it's it's hard to, uh, you know, uh, vote against God in, in terms of Elon Musk and his value creation. Um, you know, it, it, I just marvel looking at my Bloomberg. The market cap's gone from $75 billion uh, at the end of 19 to three quarters of a billion uh, here now, five years later. Um, you know, it's a wonderful product. Um, everybody know that has one loves it. I, I think it's not really for the average man at the price points where they are. And, um, you know, I, I would just tend to sit and watch uh, this price. I, I wouldn't go short um, just because it has a cult-like following. Uh, one of the points I would make, too, is if you saw the Wall Street over the weekend and they profiled two women that went from New, New Orleans to Chicago and back and honestly how hard it was to find charging stations and secondarily uh, the comment was we spent more time uh, charging than we did sleeping so you know as an old farmer in this area says t equal m time equal money if you don't mind sitting around waiting three hours to have your vehicle charged it's probably not bad but I have a feeling a lot of Americans are happier even at you know five dollars a gallon of gas uh, filling up within five minutes and off they go so we'll see with tesla but it's certainly been a interesting story to this point all right let's go next to uh, take two interactive yeah you know uh trevor the um it's kind of a lockdown story as all the gaming stocks were over 2020 and then as we've kind of come unlocked they kind of you know traded off, uh, just like you mentioned, Tesla being off, you know, 25, 30 percent, take two is as well. Um, I think uh, Strauss Zelnick's done a great job there. Uh, great gaming franchises now they've integrated uh, Zynga. Uh, they can do it mobily. So I, I joke now that the people I see uh, <coughs> out of my truck texting while they drive can play mobile games <laughs> while they drive. So you might want to double shoulder harness in your vehicle. You um, probably do that on your Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe with an the auto driver, they can do one of uh, one of Take Two's games. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I want to know where you live. All right. Target. Uh, under a lot of scrutiny, dividend raise, even though it's been seeing this ongoing margin pressure, mismanagement of inventory. But you like the stock. Tell us why, Mark. Well, for the simple reason for years, occasionally, you know, I'm blessed to be married to a CPA, so I never look at my checkbook. But anytime I did, I, I swear every third entry was to Target. Um, you know, they sell really a value uh, proposition to everybody in terms of clothing, groceries. They've got CVS pharmacies embedded in them. Uh, they developed an omni channel uh, to compete with Amazon. And I think the true test of a, a lot of businesses is really the free cash flow generation. And if you contrast, for example, Target's valuation at eight times enterprise value to pre-tax cash flow versus, um, I want to say it's uh, 59 times for Tesla and the fact that they've got the free cash flow to pay a dividend, I think will keep investors out of trouble. The other thing I would say to investors is you really need a, a probably a five-year window if you're going to commit money to the equity market. I, I wouldn't uh, commit equity money money to the equity market, I was going to pay my property tax bill in November, mm -hmm. but maybe my student loan with hopes that it's maybe uh, paid off and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, I think their dividend rates attractive uh, in, in this environment. 